Yeah, good morning from Budapest, our last full day here. Trying to get an early start. Got to make some more fridge space so I can go back out today. Seven different chocolate milks this morning, although the difference of three of them might be a subject of debate. Three of these shaped containers. They're almost like a cube, 500 mils. I've never seen this shaped container before. Um, and there's three of them, different brands. Visually, in looking at the product, I couldn't tell a difference between any of these three. They all look exactly the same from a nutritional information standpoint. They're all very similar. There might be a little thing off here or there that's not exactly the same, but I'm gonna try these side by side by side. Let's we'll start with the Spar. This one. It's pretty bland. It doesn't have a lot of cocoa flavor. It almost reminds you of those big jug, uh, gallon jug chocolate milks that you get in the States, except those are probably a little bit more sweet. I'll try this one, see if this is any different. And that one maybe even a, a, a hint less sweet, a little bit blander, if that's possible, than the Spar. And lastly, the Milfina. See how this is. Can't tell a difference. Can't tell a difference between that and the Spar. I'd say that the Toll or whatever is the the least sweet of the three, but it's really super close. I was hoping they'd all be good. <laughs> They're not. Here's a Milfina milkshake. I've had a lot of these throughout Europe. They are always super goopy and gummy, and you can tell by shaking it up. It's like a very uh, low pitch <laughs> kind of a thing. Sounds like someone's gargling on their own vomit. And the taste is always the same. It's not real chocolatey, it's just that kind of a sour but gummy milkshake, I think, you know, and it is, it's 119 calories per, per 100 mils, it's, it's caloric, but you don't get really creamy taste out of it, it really has no redeeming qualities to me. Yeah, no. Kids might like it. Millie. This is a Belgian product and it's in a little bit of a, it's kind of a warped bottle. There it goes. Mm. Oh, it's not very sweet, but it's got a decent creamy hit to it. Not a ton of cocoa flavor. I'd say it's decent. It's not uh, it's not super sugary or not super chocolatey, but it's got a nice creamy element to it. It's drinkable. Uh, here's the one I'm kind of excited about. And you won't see a brand on here. This is how it comes. And this was the only one with the label intact. I was excited to see like what appears to be a local chocolate milk in the spar. I don't know if the camera can pick it up. It is, um, can you see that? Mm -hmm. It does say, well, I don't know if it's Sharefish Cheese Shop, I think is the equivalent um, in Hungarian. Where's Laszlo when you need him? <laughs> uh, friend of mine, Hungarian, German friend, Laszlo, shout out to you, brother. Uh, international man of mystery. He'd be able to pronounce all this stuff and tell me what it means, but. It's starting to settle again, and the first time I shook it up, it took quite a quite an effort to get it all mixed in. That's pretty got pretty strong cocoa flavor, a more earthy note to it, not to a dirty extent. I mean, not to the extent that it's a turnoff. It's sweeter than I expected it to be. I think it compares favorably with uh, with the rest of the flight here. Riska, which is kind of a funny name. Uh, I guess it's aimed towards kids. Okay, it's got uh, more of a, it's a sweet, a little bit of an amaretto thing without the sting uh, to it that alcohol might have. It's an interesting texture. It feels uh, heavy, like the, like a, a little bit denser than milk would be. Rather sweet, but pretty drinkable. Gotta go out, hit the bricks, and find some more uh, before we leave for Poland. So, talk to you later. Hey, having a late lunch. Unsalted peanuts, not on purpose. Four new chocolate milks uh, that we got going around town. These four will be the 24th um, that I've had in Budapest just in three days. So, do the math, I guess that's eight a day. Which is an okay ratio. Milky Way. Chocolate milk, says right on the tin. Uh, see this in the, the squirt bottle. Uh, package. 
the Mars that I had uh, earlier. This is a product from Hungary. Yes, yeah, tastes accurate. Tastes like you think it would. Uh, it's got a decent multi flavor to it. It's also has molasses in it. Compositionally, it's very similar to the Mars product. And uh, taste wise, it's also similar. Texture is identical. Decent and sweet. It's enjoyable, for sure. Uh, the cocoa flavor is not real strong. Pilos cocoa drink. Pick this up at Lidl. Yeah, it reminds me a lot of miso. Straight down the middle. Uh, experience with chocolate milk, maybe a little bit more chocolatey than uh, the average. But it's a drink. Won't blow you away, but certainly won't gross you out either. Tesco. I got the Tesco Express and. Don't you know? Got their own brand like you see in And this stuff is also a product of Hungary, and it is very dark. That's almost about an eight and a half. Rather dark. Yeah, not sure how it comes across. You probably need something to compare to. Less sweet and it's got a, definitely a stronger cocoa flavor. Uh, the other two so far. That's good. Not super creamy, um, but decently strong chocolate flavor. Nothing too kabuki on the texture side of things, so yeah, I think that's uh, about average. I'm excited to try this one. This is that same uh, Sherpish uh, cheese shop brand. This one though, it's got a very nice package. Really cool bottle, and it's got uh, nice printed out labels and everything like that. Kind of in stark contrast to the last product I had that was in my head. It's lactose free. It's also an odd combination of kind of higher fat, 4.1 grams of fat per 100 mils, but like very low sugar. It's got artificial sweeteners in it. It also has cardamom in it, which I've never seen before in a chocolate milk. It was the last ingredient. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pick it out, but we'll see. Yeah, I think maybe a little bit. It can get a little bit of the cardamom flavor. It's very thin, but also very creamy, which is a ratio that's a, a, a relationship that I really enjoy personally. The cocoa is, is the flavor is there. But I think you can also kind of taste. Uh, it's got stevia, stevia all glycoside in it. it. It does distract from the overall experience, which is too bad. Yeah, it's almost. It's not overly sweet, which is nice. It is more towards the bitter end of things, which helps bring the cocoa flavor out in the previous year after that. But the, it's just not a choice to, to not have um, sugar in this one. It would have been fantastic with it, I think. Uh, as it is, it's, it's drinkable, but it's definitely no sweet. So, who also bought most expensive product uh, I've had in Hungary so far? It was 419 400 which is about a buck 65. Uh, gonna head out again in a few minutes and try to get any last remaining chocolate milks here in Hungary before we leave tomorrow morning. Until then.